EA Sports within the game. You talk about a big play, hey, you don't get any bigger than that. Just north of the Delaware Expressway and east of Broad Street, we find ourselves at Lincoln Financial Field in South Philly. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Los Angeles Chargers and the Philadelphia Eagles. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. Very short kick, taken right at the 20. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line.
They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. A shotgun snap for Herbert. His throw complete right side to the tight end Parham. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Open back in 2003, have a look at the link. Lincoln Financial Field where 70,000 are rocking and ready to go in Philadelphia. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Denver Broncos and the Philadelphia Eagles. Now the kicker, Brandon McManus, about ready to get us started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. Pulls it in at the 13. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And that is the kind of tackling they want to see all game as he'll lose yardage to start things out. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Hurts throw here taken in as he's able to find Goddard. So the completion results there in nine yards. And yeah, that's going to bring up third and two. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. An early test. Two plays in. This is third and two. Here's Hurts to throw. They'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain there on third and two. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. 
And it's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. He's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers, and they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. And some room to maneuver. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Miles Sanders, 38 yards. And the Eagles will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. A nice run by him, don't get me wrong, but the blocking up front was a thing of beauty. I think for an opening drive, how about that for an exclamation point? Just what you said, good blocking, good vision, and he accelerated to the end zone. Hertz will throw. It's caught. And it's 8 nothing. Interesting. I mean, they're putting their foot on the gas here early, going for two to go up 8 nothing. Well, after that drive, you have to believe that they thought to themselves, if we can do that, what's another two yards? Let's go get those and get two points as a result. And not much on this one. Takes it from the 21. And a pretty slick return there. Almost got it to the 45. Officially, they'll call him down at the 44. Well, he gave up the first touchdown of the game, but how about the response? Big time return. Now it's their chance to try and put points on the board. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. He'll start the drive with a run by Gordon. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play, second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be, but still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Wilson. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. They certainly thought they had an open book beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. They go play action now. Wilson. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Kaiser White. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. Top Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. On first and ten, it's Sanders. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Play action. Here's Hurts. And he's got it. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Chris Watkins from 17 yards out. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. It's up and good, 15 to nothing here in the first quarter. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Very short kick, taken right at the 20. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. Well, Charles, it's kind of gut check time. Look, I know it's early first quarter, just their second drive of the game, but they've already thrown the interception, given up the score. You're down double digits. they got to figure out something and pretty quickly here. No doubt about it. And when we look at that sideline, I'm sure you're observing the same thing I am. I don't like the body language at all. They look like they're in a state of stunned disbelief. 
So to me, we always talk about someone stepping up and making a big play. I think it would behoove them if multiple guys step up and make big plays right now. They need something positive to happen. They need for it to happen now. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing in the coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. There's Wilson. This one complete to Jerry Judy. And they'll get him down at about the 37, well short of the first. Fourth down, here's Wilson. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Left side here to Sanders. Touchdown, Eagles! Miles Sanders, he scored on the ground and through the air. And the Eagles have moved out in front by three touchdowns. So that pretty conclusively, I might add, shows you the perils of going for it and not making it on fourth down. One play, touchdown. Yeah, and I've got to put this on the man in charge, the head coach. He made the decision to go for it. To me, when punting was the only decision to make, and it backfired on him in a big way. And this is going to be caught. It's good. And that extends their lead by two more. After the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Fielded right around the eight. And he will be taken down here as the first quarter of play will come to an end. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. onto the field ready to start their next drive. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. And if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Now it's Wilson. And that is incomplete. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. To throw is Wilson. That's complete. It's Greg Dulcich. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. They go play action with Wilson. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. I guess no need to force him when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. Give him a little extra credit there. His head was cool as the play broke down. Didn't force a throw, and in the end, got to show off his athleticism with a nice game to bring up a new set of downs. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Throw 
coming on second and eight. Wilson, and he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. That sack courtesy of the effort of Hassan Reddick. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. It's third and long now for Wilson and the Broncos after that sack. Looking to throw. Wilson. They're looking for Judy, but it's intercepted. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And the Eagles are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. Well, when he went on the move there and started rolling out, I thought there was a window, but that window closed quickly, intercepted. And sometimes, despite how big your arm talent is, you don't get enough on a throw when you're on the move as opposed to setting your feet and stepping into one. That may have been the case there, and the defense certainly benefited. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Caden Stearns. And the Broncos are going to take possession of the football. So that potentially an important takeaway here in this second quarter. Because what it does is give their offense a chance to put a drive together. They've got nothing on the scoreboard so far, so you have to think that they need something before the break. And now they have an opportunity. After the interception, here's Wilson. And Wilson's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Eagles are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. Well, I'm not sure that the wheels, Charles, are coming completely off, but they're shaking a little bit. That's three interceptions, and now interceptions here on back-to-back -back drives. And I think about what a Hall of Fame coach told me that he always told his teams, when a mistake happens, just move on to the next play. Let it go. Hard to do when you throw this many interceptions. That's exactly the attitude that has to be adopted. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 61 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in his first half. Well, he's broken off some big-time runs here in this first half. Man, let's just face it. When you go into a game, you think you've got the plays that are going to work, but when you actually get out there and they're starting to happen, your confidence rises, and he's running with terrific ability right now. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, those two have hooked up for a touchdown once already in this game, that time unable to find the completion. Yeah, it just appeared they wanted to get him out into open space and try and get him the football. As you mentioned, unable to connect. It's a second down run with Sanders. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. We'll see what they have drawn up here, a little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And it'll be a turnover on downs. So they take a big, big chance here in their own territory. And you think the coach may have some questions to answer? Yeah, and, you know, normally we focus on the media, right, the social media barrage that he's going to get for this one. How about on his own sideline and in his locker room? Yeah. Because I think the team's going to look at my coach. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. 
Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Wilson. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Hassan Reddick in there to get him, and with it, time will expire here in this first half of play. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down, two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. It'll be the Broncos getting the football first in this second half as they trail, and we are back underway. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And he's able to get this all the way to the 40 before going out of bounds. During the week, the special teams coach puts together a game plan that he presents to the head coach. And in every game plan, there's one big play that he points to the head coach and says, listen, when we need it, we can go to it. I think they did exactly that on that one. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Man open, he's got it complete to Cortland Sutton. And he'll be brought down at the 27. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And he is gonna lose yardage here. What a play there by Fletcher Cox to get in and knock him down behind the line. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. On second and 12, Wilson. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. What we've seen so far in this game, they're not going to allow a big shot over the top. You can have whatever you want underneath. They'll give you that, but they're not going to let you beat them deep. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the shotgun, Wilson. And this one is incomplete. I think it's safe to say that he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now, but he was fortunate on that one not to have another turnover on his ledger. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. They're going on fourth down. It's Wilson. Got a man. It's Judy complete. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. They'll try to run it in with Murray. And he's going to battle his way down right around the two-yard line. From the two now, second and goal. Again, it's Murray. And he is unable to get in. They stop him at the line of scrimmage. They hold him again, and now all of a sudden, it's third and goal at the one. Got to figure this is one they need here on third and goal. Now Wilson. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Weaving through traffic, and now he's free. 30, 20. And he takes 
this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Well, I mean, you get it. They're trying to make something happen here in this third quarter, CD, but I don't think a pick six is exactly what they had in mind. No, not at all, because this offense, they've been stuck all game long. Haven't dented the scoreboard yet, and they're kind of forced to take a few chances here, and that one, it backfired in a big way. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here and maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Pretty good yards after the catch there on that crossing route. Is a crossing route good for a quarterback because the receiver's coming across his line of vision? They love those kind of throws. And how many times have you seen any of what we call an in-breaking route? Quarterback really turns it loose, doesn't he? Has a lot more confidence because he can see the play right in front of him. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Second and 10 now. Third quarter action from Philadelphia, PA. Here's Wilson. Hit as he throws there, incomplete. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying no more. We're speaking to stand right here, right now. But it is third and ten. They've got to get after him one more time. To throw again is Wilson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Gordon. And he will be taken down, but a big pickup there on what's going to be the final play of the third quarter. It'll be first and goal when we come back. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Wilson gets rid of it quickly, and he is going to lose yardage here. It'll go as a loss on the play, not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. They threw the screen to the perimeter, but to no benefit at all. Tackle behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of yardage. And the slot man goes in motion left. Second down and goal. Wilson. Being chased, and a big loss here as he's taken down. The sack by Ron Quinn. I don't know what else can be said about this pass rush. They have been sensational. CD, that is now six sacks for them. And how many times do we talk to offensive coordinators and they say a sack is a result of everyone on offense not doing their job? But let's be honest about this one. This is the offensive line unable to counter the pass rush. They've been teeing off all game long. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Now 
Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Wilson on fourth down. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. Jerry Judy, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Broncos are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. So they will get on the scoreboard here. Give them credit for that. Too little, too late, but no zero. Are you, you're going slow clap on me. <laughs> Not very nice, is it? No, but they haven't been very nice on offense. It's been a struggle. They'll try to run with Murray, and he'll get in, and they're going to draw themselves two points closer. So they kept it on the ground, got it into the end zone. But Charles, sometimes you probably see teams treat a two-point conversion differently than if it was first and goal from the two, or I should say third and goal from the two. I agree with you totally on that. A lot of teams treat it as if they have farther to go and shy away from running the football. I think this is a great spot to do it because most teams play you for the pass. Go ahead and run and let your linemen surge and fire out. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's <laughs> expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. Here's Hurts to throw. He's got his target. That's Zach Pascal. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. 88 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's going on. Now the Broncos will use their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Here we go, check. Hey, check that, check that, street, street. Go check, go check. They'll run with Sanders. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Miles Sanders, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles up the lead to four scores now here in this fourth quarter. Elliott good with a PAT. And that'll push the lead up to 29 now. After the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. 
where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things. And now here's another interception. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. Well, there's two sides to this coin. I mean, on one side, five interceptions now thrown for him. That's tough. But, man, this defense, they have been ball hawking and impressive. But, Charles, let's flip it back over. If you're coaching a quarterback that's struggling this much at this stage of the game, do you maybe try to get him out? I would think about it, and I'd think about it awfully hard. But also, you might want to look into his eyes, see what he has. He might be one of those players that you don't want to affect his confidence by actually pulling him out of the game. Game. So you have to know your player. You have to know the situation. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Another run with Sanders. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. They follow up the first down one yard run with a minimal gain of two. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. It doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That one looks like he'll throw here. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Josie Jewell, and the Broncos will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. Now they get a fourth quarter pick, a little something to hang their hat on, I guess. Okay, so let's face it, though. Who's happy about this play? Fantasy guys, right? Yeah. The analytics will tell you one thing or another. That's a bad play on one hand, a good play on the other, but it's all about the fantasy points here. Yeah, because this ball game is over. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early loop was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. One last shot for Wilson. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Trying to get away, but could 